Hi, I'm Vic Vir and this is outrageous. outrageous. You see, when Riot decided to release this abomination, I originally wanted to make a video about it, but I scrapped the idea because one, I would be late to the party and two, I thought that this whole scheme wouldn't work on people. I was wrong. And as much as I dislike those skins, or rather what they represent, I still decided to stay quiet. But that just feels like a slap in the face. The whole of Legends Pass is fine, the price isn't too steep and the Riot got a hassle, I respect that. It's a decent offer for a reasonable amount of money. The only bad thing is that there's no other way of buying any of those skins outside of the bundles in this event. So if the only thing you care about in this event is the Rebrank skin, you're gonna have to pay almost 2k RP for it. There's no other way to get it, this whole event is built around fake exclusivity and fear of missing out. So you either get the bundle associated with the skin you want, or you'll never be able to get it. But okay, the cheapest bundle that comes with Rebrank skin is not that expensive, so if that's the only thing you care about, it's manageable. But if you want to get the skin for Ari, <laughs> oh, that's, that's a f***ing joke. Are you serious, Riot? Five and a half thousand RP for a single skin. And don't bullshit me that you're not paying just for the skin. This offer is hilarious. What? Border? Icon? Emote? Those things were usually offered for those who bought the skins when they were first released. There's no cheaper alternative, it's gone after the event end, so you either buy it or... It's gone. And even if you cut Riot some slack and say that the price is inflated because of the HOL pass, no. That's still 3,500 RP for a single skin and you can't even buy it for 3,500, so it doesn't matter. And that's the cheapest variant. See, this? This is an offer for poor people. No, only peasants would buy this one. They don't even deserve an animated splash art for this low price. No, for that privilege, you have to pay 6 times more. For the low, low price of 32,000 RP, they throw this into the mix. Amazing, right? Let's see what it does. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that's very cool. It would be nice if I didn't have to sell my f kidney to get it. But wait, the comedy hour with Riot Games is not finished yet. There's one more. If you're already considering buying 32,000 RP to get this skin, maybe... Maybe throw in an extra 27,000 RP to get the... Signature Immortalized Legend Collection. <laughs> I mean, how can you say no? It's a steal, look! A title! And you can skip the grind in the battle pass! Yeah, those those losers who only paid 32,000 RP for the lame immortalized collection still have a chance to miss out on some of the content from this event. Oh, and there's also a banner, a splash out with signature because they've never done it before. And look, they give you three chromas for the skins that you got from the battle pass. No idea if there's any other way to get them without spending 500 bucks, but since this entire event is built around FOMO, I don't think that there is. There's a big FAQ section at the bottom and I see nothing about chromas, so the answer is probably no. I wonder why. Also, I don't see the answer for the real, most frequently asked question, which is what the f*** Riot? What were you thinking? You showed us this idea before, nobody liked it. Yet you still went through with it, because... MONEY! And I get it, Faker is the face of Rick Esports. Hell, he's one of the most well-known properties in all of Esports, so the idea to commemorate his achievements is awesome. But this ain't it, Chief. And that's without even mentioning that Faker doesn't really like playing with skins. Yeah, the guy this whole event is about is a fan of rocking base skins. I wonder if he'd use them even if he got them for free. I just... I just don't get it. Every time Riot comes up with something really good, they have to follow it up with shit like this. That's f sad, honestly. And you know, to not be so negative all the time, I'm gonna tell you about the things that are cool about this event, because there are some cool things. First of all, as I previously said, the base pass is a pretty good value. 
Of course, even this offer is not all sunshine and rainbows, but it's not that bad compared to the rest of the bullshit in this event. Also, associated esports teams earn 40% of the proceeds from this event. That's... that's good. And... Um, what else? What else? Um, the world is cool. I... I like how it looks. I like the fact that you don't have to pay an arm and a leg to get it. And... Uh, yeah, that's it. This even f sucks and I hope that even the whales don't fall for this, or else they're gonna find more ways to gatchify this game. One time it's funny. Two times it's fucking annoying, no? Six 